In part A, as in question number one we just solved, the electrons on the left side of this wire will migrate to the top of the left side, and the electrons on the right side of the loop will also migrate to the top right side. And the top and the bottom of this loop do not contribute to any electron migration as it's moving through this background magnetic field. So putting all this together, we have the same amount of migration on the left as we do on the right. And let's, uh, we can draw a diagram of this. So we have two volts here from, and same as in part number, question one, we're gonna have two volts here. And so there's not going to be any, uh, any net induced voltage across the resistor. So for part B, we're gonna have zero amps. And in part C, if we were to calculate V induced from E dot DL, uh, that's equal to E dot DL. And if we were to calculate V induced from looking at the flux through the surface of the loop, where this is S, so this is dot N hat DS, uh, that's going to equal to zero because dB dt is equal to zero. There's, the B field is not changing in time for this problem.